Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Dre. Welcome to another episode of Dre's State of Mind. I know it's been a while. It's been a very long time since the last episode. I believe it's like almost been a year. Um, <laughs> As I can say, life has gotten in the way. But uh, how's everybody's uh, 2020 kicking off? You know, we're now officially in May and it's been one of the most trying years that I've ever experienced. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just been a wild and crazy year, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. You know, we done lost Kobe Bryant um, earlier this year, and along with his daughter and uh, seven other people on that helicopter crash. Still can't believe, you know what I'm saying? One of the goats of uh, NBA basketball is, is gone. And, you know, the future of, uh, well, one of the futures of WNBA basketball, uh, you know, perished in one tragic accident. It's crazy. Um, still can't get over that. And then, uh, you know, we got this whole COVID-19 thing going on right now. And... You know, people. I see a lot of people are complaining about you know being in quarantine, being in the uh, in the house and everything like that. I mean, in my opinion, it, it shouldn't be this long. But you know, people are hard headed, and you know we got these people was running around with conspiracy theories. Five G caused this and everything like that. Like COVID nineteen, well, coronavirus has been around for a long time like in my opinion that's why I say my opinion because everybody has their opinion all these conspiracy theories like nobody has like concrete evidence solid facts that they can bring that's listening to other people who spread conspiracy theories on online on um, you know YouTube Facebook and Twitter and all that shit until you come to me with scientific evidence confirm facts your, your theories are crazy but um they yeah, like saying like 5g towers like can like started this shit but i'm like bro we didn't had 5g towers for like a minute they're just becoming like more popular now because they're trying to switch the networks and everything like that but like when you think the major cities that already had these 5g towers like would have been had coronavirus given enough time like a virus is going to mutate where this shit started from who knows i don't know if it started from bats or whatever but sometimes like a virus like it could just mutate out of the blue so i think that's where we're at right now but we could get out this i guess like a little bit sooner if people would actually just take this shit seriously and keep your ass in the house or something like that until I don't know. I, I don't know if we're gonna find a vaccine for this shit like anytime soon. Um, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's gonna be probably like uh, maybe like another month or so before the state I'm in is New Jersey. Before New Jersey even, I guess, considers you know moving forward and opening back up and things of that nature. So we should get back to normal maybe in a couple months. Well. You, can't really get back to normal really until they find like a vaccine for this shit because you know there'll still be a high risk of you still catching you know the uh the virus and everything like that but um we'll see what happens like i actually got a test for that and let me tell you that is the most annoying awkward borderline painful thing that you could possibly ever experience like it'll be like in your top 10 word i, I would say top 10 <laughs> like they stick the uh the, the swab like so far up your nose my nigga like yo that shit fucking hurts actually you know what does it's not it doesn't even really hurt like it's an awkward it's a it's a very awkward pressure like and when they stuck it like in my nose like I, I laid my head back I closed my eyes and it was going like 
and it's only like 10 seconds it'll be like the longest 10 seconds that you ever experienced and like only on my left side like my my left eye just started tearing like uncontrollably and i was like yo this shit is it's crazy but then like you know then they pulled it out the uh my nose and then i was like all right you're done and i was like oh yo we done yeah but yo that's, that's crazy and then i had to like wipe the tears from my eye and then uh control uh get myself together and then i drove off because it was one of those drive through um one of those drive through testing sites so it, it, it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> um but you know for all the negative stuff that has been going on uh this year uh positive is uh just recently got engaged um last month so happy about that and like i said once this thing starts to die down then we can actually start planning for the wedding but this COVID 19 thing has got everything you know to a standstill now uh, the thing that is not coming to a standstill is i guess like you know with people being home and everything like that you know um i just recently got uh a computer like first computer i've had like in oh, probably like 10 or 15 years or something like that this is um well before this like i was i wanted to branch off in the um in the gaming like streaming and everything like that like i was already doing it uh through my ps4 but then i figured i can enhance it by actually like you know getting a pc and everything like that finally got a setup my son actually built the computer for me um actually he built the computer for himself but then he wants to build another computer so i bought his computer off of him and like it's a nice ass computer pretty fast um i was like yo i'm proud of you <laughs> proud of you boy um so as i'm sitting up there like looking to you know get my setup together and everything like that I had to go get an elgato after like looking around i finally found one at target um it was like the last one that they had because like ever since everybody's been home like i guess like everybody's been like trying to like get into gaming and streaming and everything like that so they're just like buying up computer parts and i'm like yo so i got a microphone uh off of amazon i got a cheap one i'm actually have to stop being cheap and go get me a blue yeti um because like the sound quality on the microphone that I have, I'm, not, I'm actually using my lapel microphone on here. I'm not even using the PC mic. Um, so I'm trying to get that. And well, actually, all right, I was being cheap with the microphone. Like I said, I got to spend bread on that. Um, I'm looking for a webcam. All the webcams are sold out. So I don't know if people are... I, I'm assuming the majority of the people are, you know, trying to do webcam streaming or even like webcams to, you know, talk to family, you know, since everybody's um, quarantined and everything like that. But the majority of the people have been staying home. So, you know, to keep in touch with family, that's, you know, probably like somewhere in there in the same state that they are or even out of state or just to communicate with their bosses and everything like that for the people who's working at home. Like, that's cool. But I'm like, bro, I can't find a webcam. And like the Logitech, what was it, like C920? That is like normally like um, $70. Well, no, nah, it's like $80. So it's like $79.99. Logitech is sold out. Like if you go on their website, it's sold out. Went to Best Buy, sold out. Like the C920, no, it's this, yeah, C922. The, the upgraded model sold out all these webcams sold out the only one well, the only webcams i could find is the very expensive ones that cost like a g it was like 300 to a g up i'm like bruh i'm not spending that much money if i spend that much money on a webcam best believe i'm putting videos out on only fans many vids y'all gonna get this work <laughs> Y'all going to see a side of me that y'all ain't never want to see before. That's what it is. Because I got to get my money back on my investment. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. So, like, it, it's, uh, this year so far has, uh, it's been a very, 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 very trying year. 
Um, and then me as a sports fan, like pretty much, uh, like all the sports being canceled. Like, I, yo, this shit killed me, man. Like, it's just been killing me. Um, thank God for ESPN, you know, with this, uh, with the Last Dance documentary, um, you know, about the 90, the 97, 98 Chicago Bulls, like, you know, their, their last championship in their dynasty run. Um, you know, gives you about the behind the scenes. Like that's what I was more interested in, because you know we already know how to how this plays out. Like Jordan's six and zero in the championships, you know, in the NBA Finals. Um, you know, I lived through it, so I was watching like you know every single game on the thing. So, but I just was more interested in the behind the scenes and everything, and you know their thought process and how they was handling the whole situation. And it's it's very good and. I like the fact that ESPN has like you know the the censored version and they have the uncensored. You know me, I'm I'm looking at the uncensored version because I know how MJ gets down. My man talks mad shit. <laughs> he was talking mad shit, so um, he's like one of the top five or top three NBA trash talkers of all time. Like I want to say him, Bird, and Gary Payton. Depending on who's your favorite, you can interchange those top three. Um, but yeah, like it, it's it's been a very 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 interesting documentary. Um, shit, even after shortly after uh, Kobe had passed, uh, ESPN had put replayed uh, or well, re-aired his uh, sixty point performance like for his last game, and I can't even front, man. Like I'm sitting up there. I'm, I'm watching the game and like you already know how the game plays out and everything it's just like it, it's enjoyable like just going back watching the game like fully appreciating what he did because when I first saw the game live like I was on the edge of my seat like yo this shit is crazy like my man's about to go out with a 60 point game like I've never seen this before ever in life I've never seen like he's still like he has the most points for, you know, someone ending their like in in their last game like ending their career. Um, I think like what Jordan ended his career I think with uh, like twelve or fourteen or something like that. I, I, that that's that's damn good for like a forty three year old. You know, Kobe was forty, and I'm sitting there and watching the watching the game, and it's like. You know, closer towards the end of the game, and then you know, once the game was over, it was like sitting there, like tears in my eyes, like, <laughs> like damn, like he was only retired for like what, like three years before he passed. Like you know, he was just starting the second act of his life, and that, that I mean, that, that that's what makes it like so hard. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's, even though I didn't personally know him, and I've only seen him play like. Uh, one time like live and it wasn't even an NBA game um, when I first seen Kobe play like it was a uh, it was like 90 like early 96 um, I was 16 years old and there was like a celebrity charity basketball game um, I want to say it was either like in Camden or Penn Salkin I want to say it's Camden and my, my, uh, my mom is a freelance photographer so she took me and my brothers and you know it's like you want to see Kobe Bryant play and things of that nature like I had just uh as a basketball fan um it's actually funny because like I had actually heard of him I think the beginning of his senior year because back in the day like you know you actually had to there there was no you can't just go and, and google someone or you know go on youtube there was no youtube you can't see their, their mixtape highlights and everything like that so word of mouth spread through like this this uh publication called parade and like parade depending on the sport like they had like their top 100 players in the, in the country and kobe was in there and i was like oh shit like this dude's from philly he's like he's not that far from me and everything like that um so like i would just um really like just pay attention to the last year of his high school career like through the papers and then my mom was like yo do you want to see him play because he's going to be there um then like brandy was there i think that's where he actually met brand new and um 
later, you know, went to her prom. Uh, I forgot who else was there. But finally seeing him play, like, you know, live. And, like, I was like, yo, this kid's the real deal. Because he was, like, shitting on, like, um, these other players. Uh, <laughs> like, grown-ass men. Like, I think some of them were actually in the NBA. Uh, I just can't remember who. Um was there my memory's bad but uh pretty much uh yeah like so i seen him play i was like yo that shit's crazy man um yeah like that was pretty much it um and i'm like yo this, this dude he he should be like in the um he should go in the first round and you know he went the first round that later on that year um he went to 13 well he went with the 13th pick um in a pretty loaded 96 class um went to charlotte said i ain't no way in hell i'm playing for the charlotte hornets <laughs> and uh they pretty much uh the lakers got him for the low because they i mean look that's like one of the most lopsided trades of all time i mean i know like in hindsight you look back and you're like yo the bob no nah, i almost said bobcast the uh hornets got robbed but yo they got robbed I mean, I understand you needed a big man, but you traded Kobe for Vladi Divac. Vladi Divac. Who, you know, he wasn't a bum, but like, you know what I'm saying? He, he, was, a, he was a good center. But he gets a rap for being more known for flopping, alleg- uh, well, flopping ironically against the Lakers, you know, with uh, against the Shaq and Kobe Lakers. But... Anybody who had to go against Shaq that error, you know, was, you you catch a couple of elbows in your chest from Shaq, I'm I'm pretty sure you're gonna flop too. As soon as you see that elbow cock back, you're like, yo, I'm going down, bro. <laughs> I'm going down. Like this, this nah. But uh pretty much um uh let's see. As far as like the sports being canceled, you know, the the NBA season is still in limbo. So, you know, they, they're talking about, I guess, like restarting the season, possibly in June, maybe July. The start of next season is definitely going to be pushed back. Um, the start of the NFL season is going to, well, right now, I guess it's supposed to start as scheduled, but it could possibly be uh, pushed back. Um, well, you know, Major League Baseball is definitely pushed back because they canceled spring training and um, they haven't resumed any games yet. Um, they were talking about reconfiguring, you know, and, and playing in like the uh, the Cactus League, like uh, this one of the spring training leagues. There's a lot of players weren't really feeling that. Um, hockey was just canceled. Um, there are like some some soccer leagues like around the world that are going around they're just not playing in front of um they're not playing in front of crowds and everything like that so you know so i it'll be weird to like see sports like with no crowds but you know i guess like if they deem it that it's safe and the players feel that it's safe and the players unions and everything like that sign off on it then you know it is what it is i support it but i just want everybody to be safe um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to, you know, record something finally, because <laughs> it's been a long, 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 long hiatus, and um, just get back on uh, record my my podcast. You know, missed you guys. Hope hopefully y'all miss me. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So just get at your boy. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this brief little podcast, that um, this brief little episode. And I will talk to you later. All right. Everybody be safe. Cherish uh, your family. Cherish the time that you have with your family. And because, like, nobody is promised tomorrow. And, um, yeah, just stay safe, man, because you, know, you don't want to go through... Uh, some of the horror stories that I've heard with people who had uh, who had coronavirus, or um, you know, the people who 
you know, suspected that they had coronavirus but couldn't get tested because, you know, it's just a global pandemic and they ain't got enough, uh, and, um, they don't have enough hospital rooms and, uh, like the, the breathing machines, I forgot what they call called, um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I'm rambling on again, but yeah, I will catch y'all later and peace, be safe.